Hey guys! So this video will be about recreating this look. It's been my go-to for the last few weeks. Um, it kind of reminds me a lot of summer. And so I used to never think that pink, pinks or red looked good on me because every time I would experiment with pink eyeshadow, I always felt like I looked sick. Um, but I actually managed to find a pinkish reddish eyeshadow that doesn't make me look sick. I don't know how to explain it, but um, typically when I wear these tones of eyeshadow, I don't enjoy it. Like when I go outside and I'm like, oh, I look weird, but I really have been enjoying this look and yeah, I did my hair, my bangs. It's just, it's like a battle with bangs. Like sometimes they're really good, but most of the time they're pretty bad. <laughs> but that being said, like when they're good, it's I almost feel like I'm channeling my inner anime girl, but <laughs> when they're not good, I just feel like, <sighs> Is it too dramatic to say that it almost feels like the end of the world? <laughs> but that is a little dramatic. So this video will be about recreating this look. Um, I don't really have a name for it other than like a summary look maybe? I don't know. I'm not very good at naming things. I probably need to add someone for a better title so when I post this video it's probably <laughs> I probably have asked someone to give me a title and this is the result of it but yeah let's get started so I just finished washing my face and I'm gonna be applying two toners the first is milk's matcha toner I use this one as a base and then the second one is Sun June's relief toner and this is to help with any redness I might have For essence, this is Skin Foods Royal Honey. It's really sticky initially, so I only apply a little bit, but it gets better as you spread and pat it out. For lotion, this is Misha's Super Aqua Snail Cream. This has been one of my favorite lotions ever. It's super hydrating and it doesn't feel sticky afterwards. So for skincare, that's it. I know it seems like a lot, but this routine has really helped clear up my face, so I'll always stand by it. Starting on the makeup, I'm going to be using Fenty's Beauty's Pro Filter Primer to prime my face. Before this step, I normally apply a sunscreen, but since I'm not going out, I didn't apply it here. This is Tarte's Water Foundation, which has 15 SPF already. I'm going to apply this all over my face, and then I will be using a brush to buff it out. All the Tarte products that you see today is actually from their big sale that just happened recently. You got to pick 7 different products for about $68, so I stocked up. It was such a good deal, I even convinced my cousin and my mom to get their bags too. I've never bought foundation online, and so this was my first time doing it, and I got really lucky that the color actually matched my skin tone. For under my eyes, this is NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm just going to use my fingers and apply it underneath my eyes. I've stopped using concealer to brighten up other parts of my face, like my forehead or my chin, and I mostly just use it for under my eyes and my lips now. So to prime my lips, I'm going to be using NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer as a base. It looks really scary at first, but this helps create a soft gradient lip later on. I'm just going to use a brush to blend it out. And then to set everything in, this is 3CE's Blur Filter Powder. I'm only going to apply it where I put concealer, so under my eyes and my lips. And for lip color, this is Peri Peras Pink Velvet in Girlish Red. I'm going to apply it on the inner parts of my lips, and then use my fingers to fan the color out 
so that the inner lip is darker than the outer. I've learned that doing your lips this way just helps you achieve a more gradient look and it looks really nice. For my eyebrows, this is Tarte's Brow Mousse in Rich Brown. To define my eyebrow shape, I'm going to start by drawing a long line starting from the bottom inner corners of my eyebrows and draw it straight to the end of the tail. Then I fill in the tail and make it darker than the rest of the brow. And once the tail is defined, I fill in my eyebrows trying to make it more like a gradient. And any harsh lines I'll blend out with a spoolie and then you just rinse and repeat this on the other side. As for my eyebrows, I've been doing them a little differently recently because of my haircut. Before, I tried to do a really dark eyebrow look, but now that my bangs pretty much cover my eyebrows, I go for a softer look. I guess you could say I don't really put as much effort into my eyebrows nowadays. To finish my eyebrows, this is M Cosmetics Micro Fluff Sculpting Brow Cream in Taupe. This helps me fill in any parts that I might have missed and helps my brows look a lot fuller. Starting on eyeshadow, the first color I'll be using is Sand Dollar from Wander's Beauty Seascape Palette. I'm going to apply this right above my eyelid to give it more depth. And for my base color, I'll be using All In from Tarte's Dream Big palette. It's all over my eyelids, and this is a maroonish color that comes off more pinkish in the sun. It's one of those colors that I never thought I'd be able to pull off, but I guess the more you experiment, the more you learn, right? For the corners of my eyes, I'll be using the color This Is It from the same palette. It's kind of like a mix of copper and pink, and I'm just going to apply this on the corners of my eyelids. Going back to the other palette, I'm going to take Golden Reef and put it on the outer bottom corners of my eyes and blend it with the eyeshadow from up top. I'm going to blend the two out so it creates a nice gradient instead of a harsh contrast. So you'll be using Champagne Harbor and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes to create a brightened look. If I've put too much on the corners, I'll take the excess and spread it along the bottom of my eyes. For eyeliner, this is Della's Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. I try to relax my eyes and start by drawing the tail first and then fill it in from there. I only go about halfway on top with my eyeliner, but I'll fill in my waterline. And the reason for this is so that I don't apply too much eyeliner and take away from the eyeshadow. Eyes are done. Next comes contour. I start by using chisel from Tarte's Tardis Pro Glow. I do a fishy face to figure out where my cheekbones end, and I will use chisel to fill in from there. Once again, using chisel to contour my nose. I'm using burst from the same palette to help brighten any spots. So I normally do under my eyes, bottom of my nose, and my chin. And then I highlight using gleam to finish everything off. For blush, this is Lovecraft Beauty's blush palette. I'm going to be using Dolphine so we can stick with our summer look and just apply this on my cheeks. 
then I'll use Althea from the same palette, which is a lighter pink, and apply it on my upper cheekbones to give my face more color. And then to set everything in, this is Tatcha's Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And that's it! My face is done! I still have to do my hair, but I'll fast forward that for you guys. Just one moment. And that's how you recreate this look. I will be listing all the products down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to my channel. As always, if you want to talk or if you're trying to contact me, you can contact me at any of my socials. They're all linked below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, see you later. Actually, someone told me that this was pretty lame, so I'm going to try something else. See you later. <laughs> Bye.